all of the tools that we use in work in terms of like helping people be embodied, helping people understand consent, helping people learn how to communicate about sex and about their needs, their actual true needs and things like that, how to learn how to say no and have your no respected, you know, like this is, these are skills, social skills that happen in sex work. And they're, they're what we want to teach our kids because we want our kids to be good adults who have healthy relationships with other people. And those are foundational skills for people to have healthy relationships. And so it's, you know, we, part of our work, people think that people just come in and like, you know, I don't know, whatever, what, I don't know what people think, but uh, much of our work actually is teaching people how to be the, their full selves and giving them a container to do that. And that's very much what parenting is, is just creating mm -hmm. a love, an unconditionally loving container and providing skills and being demonstrative about how to be your best self in the world. And that's what we do with our clients as well, just in a very particular realm. Right. Yeah. I mean, you find that people who generally have issues, um, who have sexual hangups, who have issues with sex who have boundary problems are people who were raised to have a huge sense of shame around sex and who Absolutely. were not, Absolutely. not taught anything about sex and, um, where it was like a big secret or it was a big, like this, you don't discuss this. I can tell you, you know, like we said from personal experience, I feel so fortunate <laughs> to have been raised from parent by parents who, um, you know, didn't raise me with a sense of, shame around sex. And, you know, look like a majority of the, th when I think about my childhood, a big portion of that is not about like what my parents did for a living. Cause I always knew what they did for a living. I knew that mom and dad, when I was very young, it was like mom and dad make movies for grownups. And that was kind of like all I really needed to know. And I didn't. And then as I got older, I understood more, but again, it was never like the defining characteristic of my childhood in any way. The defining characteristic of my childhood was no, having no, parents not, who were no, present, not at all. who loved me, who read me a bedtime story every night, who had Sunday, we had Sunday lunch together every Sunday, who sent me to a good school, who yeah. made sure that I was, you know, engaged yeah. in sports and hobbies that I felt um, accepted. I felt loved. I felt empowered, like all of these things. And I think about that now as an adult with a, with a daughter and how I'm going to pass those values on to my children. And it makes me realize like what an amazing job my parents did. And the fact that they were pornographers. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.